Hi, today we're going to look at the Phoenix RX touchscreen healthcare platform for bedside infotainment. The Phoenix RX platform uses the Phoenix Touch user interface. The Phoenix Touch user interface is a finger navigable user interface for Windows and it is configures applications into a number of different tabs. In this example we have five tabs and on each tab there can be up to eight applications. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open one of the applications now, which is Internet Explorer. So I'll go ahead and click on that and give it a second for that to open. As that opens, we'll go ahead and see Google come up. Uh, we'll also notice that our on-screen keyboard popped open. That is set to automatically pop open whenever the cursor is active. Uh, that makes it easy for people to enter in text information. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Uh, you'll notice that it also closes the on-screen keyboard. So we're just going to look at a few of the other applications that are usually on one of our systems. Uh, those could be room control, uh, link to Facebook, uh, request attention from a nurse, uh, weather, uh, telephone so to access a VoIP phone system, uh, check your messages, and of course watch television. Uh, you can watch a online demo of our television application at thenix.com slash touch tv um, another tab patient rx typically would have an access to a patient medical records portal uh, access to patient education food service to order meals uh, skype to make skype calls and some other uh, quick links uh, typically, we'll also have a number of games installed on the system. Uh, usually, we use the standard Microsoft games, but we can install other games as requested. Um, on the entertainment icon, we will have links such as Hulu and ESPN and Time Magazine, which is kind of relevant when you consider that uh, that cuts down on the transfer of bacteria on actual paper magazines. Uh, we also have a staff RX tab. I'm entering that now. Uh, when a staff member would need to access information on one of these terminals, uh, they can enter an access code and that'll give them access to a special restricted section. Uh, in that special restricted, restricted section, uh, we can have applications such as their EMR application. Uh, it could let them view x-rays, x-rays, lab results, and other information. Uh, they could also do a remote desktop session or virtual desktop session. And when they're done with that, they can go ahead and get it back into the patient part of it and give that terminal back to the patient. And that is a quick look at Thenix RX. Thank you.